Hey everyone, I know I've been an absent YouTuber lately and there's really no excuse other than I just haven't been dealing with my Desmoid debacle in the most productive manner. Um, but I wanted to make a video for you guys talking about the courses of action that are currently suggested for dealing with a Desmoid tumor as well as what course I'm currently trying. I wanted to preface by saying that Dealing with desmoid tumors sucks um, for a myriad of reasons, the first of which is that they're technically classified as benign because they don't metastasize the way cancer does, which is problematic because benign tends to have this connotation that it's not really a big deal, and consequently, the few doctors who have heard of desmoid tumors tend to think of them as sort of non-issues, uh, or as happy tumors, as my first GI doctor referred to them as. Um, this is problematic because Desmoid tumors are really big issues. They are the second biggest cause of fatality in people with FAP, and their fatality stems from the fact that they can grow to the point where they start suffocating the surrounding organs. Uh, in addition to being fatal, they can be extremely painful, and if you develop one in an extremity, it could result in an amputation. So yeah, they're really happy tumors. Um, Another issue that makes dealing with a desmoid tumor as a patient so difficult is that they're extremely rare, so not a lot of doctors are familiar with them, let alone how to diagnose them and how to treat them. So a lot of that responsibility falls on the patient. Additionally, it means there's not a lot of research funding dedicated towards desmoid tumor research, which is problematic because there isn't a cure for desmoid tumors as we stand today. Um, and the few treatment options that are out there don't have a lot of research supporting their efficacy. Uh, so they really are a crapshoot. Um, that being said, there are a few treatment options in use today. Uh, the first of which, and probably one of the most popular, is surgical resection. Some desmoid tumors can be completely removed surgically. It depends on the location and size of your desmoid tumor. Um, if you have one in the mesentery or intertwined with vital organs or blood vessels, it would be considered inoperable. Um, however, if you have a tumor in the abdominal wall, depending on its size, it could be completely removed. And because some desmoid tumors can be completely removed, doctors tend to think that this is the end-all solution to desmoid tumors. Personally, I tend to disagree. I believe that ultimately, desmoid tumors, no matter their location, are inoperable given their high reoccurrence rate. Um, when you go in to remove one, you are not only causing more trauma, but you're causing trauma to a greater area, and trauma induces desmoid tumors. Um, so if you, like me, opt out of surgery, uh, that leaves you with a few other options. There's radiation and radiation techniques such as cryoablation, um, which their use depends on the location and size of your desmoid tumor. Um, us FAPers are prone to desmoids everywhere, um, but we do have a tendency to get them in our abdomen because we need to have surgery to remove our colon, which is located in our abdomen and causes trauma there. Um, unfortunately for us, radiation isn't an option because that amount of radiation to that abdominal location is considered to be too toxic. However, it can be an option for other desmoid tumor sufferers. Um, but if radiation isn't an option for you, that pretty much leaves you with medical oncology, which could take the form of hormone therapy, which usually would be an estrogen blocker such as tamoxifen, or chemotherapy. And I'm not familiar with all of the different types of chemotherapies that are used for desmoid tumors, but to be fair, I don't think most doctors are either. Um, and I also think that whatever the more popular chemotherapy of the moment is tends to cycle depending on what's available nationally. Um, that being said, I know that Doxel is really popular right now, and I think they've used vinoblastin and methotrexate as well. I am currently reluctantly trying the chemotherapy path. Um, I am on a drug called Nexavar, or serafinib, which is an oral chemotherapy, and it's relatively new to the uh, desmoid tumor world. Um, I think only within the past three years or so have they started looking at its use in desmoid tumors. Um, previously, it had been used to treat kidney and liver cancers but right now it is seeming to be pretty popular in the desmoid tumor community. Um, and there is some debate about whether or not it is a chemotherapy, but it comes in a box that says 
warning, cytotoxic drug. Um, so who knows? Um, but I think they're sort of considering it to be a more targeted form of chemotherapy. Um, I know Gleevec, um, which is another drug used for desmoid tumors, is also um, in the same class of drugs. Um, and again, I wanted to mention here that there is no cure for desmoid tumors, so the goal with drug therapy isn't to completely get rid of the desmoid tumor. Right now, that's pretty impossible unless you have it surgically removed. The goal of drug therapy is really just to stabilize the tumor and maybe shrink it a little bit. Um, so. For me, the game plan right now is to keep me on chemotherapy indefinitely um, with some extended breaks in between uh, if the tumor stabilizes. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there so you know that unfortunately desmoid tumors are really here for the long haul. Um, as far as what the most effective treatment method for desmoid tumors is, I really don't know. Um, and unfortunately, neither do doctors. Uh, I have consulted a lot of doctors who've had experience with desmoid tumors about what I should do in regards to my own desmoid tumor, and every single one of them said something different. One said chemotherapy would be a really horrible idea for me. Another said that if I took this drug, I could completely shrink my desmoid tumor. Um, and another said that that would be entirely impossible. Um, there really isn't a consensus right now among the medical community about what the best way to go about these desmoid tumors is. Um, so you really have to do your research and sort of try and make, make that decision on your own and what's best for you personally as well. Um, however, if you're watching this video, I think you're definitely starting on the path to try and figure out what is the best way to deal with your desmoid debacle. Um, all right, I hope all is well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.